एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In the previous video, we have learned that how to calculate the mean, how to calculate the variance, how to calculate the standard deviation, the quartile factor, and all. If you want to study this topic in detail, refer to the book by S. John Publishing. Link is provided in the description box. Hello, students, and welcome to the S. John Academy. My name is Kanaiya Jha. in this video we can learn that uh, how to calculate the variability measurement so in this we will calculate first inter interquartile range and uh, after that we will study the percentiles deciles coefficient of the variation and then the five number summary that how to calculate the five number summary when we are making the box point in this and then uh, we'll study further so so starting with the concept called as the uh, concept called as the we'll calculate the interquartile range suppose that the q1 is 15 plus 1 divided by 4 their data set which is given to us suppose their data set given to us here we can see so data set given to us here is 3 6 7 11 13 22 30 40 44 50 52 61 68 18 80, and 94 so we can see that it has been divided into four quart three quartiles q1 q2 and q3 so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and then 1 2 3 4 so we can see that the q1 is 11 the q2 is 40 and the q3 is 61 so we can calculate the range so the range is 61 minus 61 minus 40 is 21 okay in this particular given data so we, this is basically between the middle half of the ordered data is between 40 and 61 so we can we can see that how the data is break into different quartile and how we are calculating the difference in the particular data that difference in the particular quartile so we can see that first that how this entire number is breaked into three quartile the number is 367 11 13 22 30 40 44 50 52 61 68 80 and 94 so from this particular given data we are breaking this into three quartile 11 q1 40 q2 and 61 is a q3 so with this we'll make the calculation so q1 we can see here is 11 q2 is 40 and q3 is 61 so we'll make calculate the difference from 61 which is a q3 minus of 40 which is q2 will calculate the quartile range interquartile range so we can calculate the interquartile we can calculate the range of the particular quartile also that how we calculate we'll subtract the value of q3 to q1 and we subtract the value from q3 to q1 we will get that interquartile range so first we will break the entire data in terms of the quartile in the terms of the quartile 1 quartile 1 quartile 2 quartile 3 and after making the or calculating the particular quartile we will break the data and make and calculate in terms of the interquartile range the interquartile range is how we subtract the particular data and then we make the calculation so proceeding further we can calculate the decile and the percentiles also decile is if the data is ordered and divided into 10 parts then cut uh, then cut points are called as deciles so entire data if we take it and we break the entire data into 10 particular parts that uh, the entire data is breaked into 10 particular parts so all the cut points there all the cut points are generally calculated in terms of deciles suppose that we take a data 1 3 5 7 10 point so all they are decile or suppose a particular number is given to us and we are breaking that particular number into 10 different different parts so every point will work as a decile every point will work as a decile as we have seen in this so 
So data is divided into 10 parts and then cut into this percentile. If the data is ordered and divided into 100 parts. So uh, if the data is divided into the 100 parts, then cut points are called as percentile. 25th percentile is Q1 because we are breaking this into four parts. So 22 will be the Q1, 50th will be the Q2, 70th percentile will be the Q3, rest will be Q4. So 25th percentile is Q1, the 50 percentile is the median. When we are calculating the value uh, Q2, then Q2 is particular the medium, the mid value of that. And then 75% is a Q3. So basically what we do is we analyze the entire data, we analyze the entire length of the data. And after analyzing the entire length of data, we are breaking the data in terms of four categories, 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75 and 75 to 100 where the mid value which is at a 50 will act as a median of the particular data and anytime we can calculate a quartile value where formula we have discussed in the previous slides that the quartile value so anytime we can calculate the quartile value of the particular data so after calculating the quartile value of data we can analyze the median of the data also so in the summing words if the data is divided into 10 different parts then the parts are called as as we see deciles and if they are break into 100 parts like this we can see that q1 is from 0 to 25 q2 is from 25 to 50 at the 50th point there will be a median and then 25 50 to 75 and then 75 to 100 so these are the calculations that we can do Okay, so these are the you know the percentile that we can make the calculation where p is the desired percentile and n is the number of the observation of data. So we understand here this. Then next we have coefficient of variation. So when the standard deviation is divided into mean, we have usually say that it is expressed in terms of percentage. When the given number of data is given to us, we calculate the mean, we calculate the variance, we calculate the under root of the variance. The under root of variance is the standard deviation. So we can say that when the standard deviation is divided by its mean, when the standard deviation is divided by mean, then we say it's the coefficient of variation. Let's take one example for this. We have a data and we have to calculate mean. We have to calculate variance. We have to calculate standard deviation. And then as mentioned here, we can we have to calculate coefficient of variation. So we have to calculate the mean, we have to calculate the variance, we have to calculate the standard deviation and we can calculate the coefficient of variation. Okay. So what uh, I mean to say is that in a single question, we learn that how we can calculate this. Suppose we have a data given here as x1 which is 4, x2 here it is 6, x3 here as 8 and x4 here is 10. The first thing that I have to do here is we have to calculate the mean of the particular observation. So the mean of the observation will be 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 and that will be divided by 4. So it will be 10 plus 8, 18 and 28 by 4 and that will be 7. So we can see that x bar is 7. Now the second case we have to calculate xi minus x bar whole square. So it will be 4 minus 7 square 6 minus 7 square, 8 minus 7 square and 10 minus 7 square. So then we add up all these things, the summation of x minus x bar whole square. So we can see that 4 minus 7 minus 3, then it is uh, minus 2, then 1 and then 3. When we add up all them and divided by n minus 1, 
will get the variance and then the under root of the particular variance will be the standard deviation and then whatever the standard deviation that we get here whatever the standard deviation that we get here when we divide it by the x bar that is the what we generally say is uh, the mean and multiply it by 100 so there we will get the coefficient of variation so the when the standard deviation is divided by the x bar and multiplied by 100 then we get the particular standard deviation in the coefficient of variation here so <clears throat> again i am making a connectivity the connectivity says that the standard deviation the standard deviation needs variation the variation needs the mean so again we can see that we are proceeding with a different formula but every formula are interconnected to each other so first we calculate the mean then we'll calculate the variation after calculating the particular variation we, uh, we we calculate the standard deviation and from the standard deviation we'll calculate the coefficient of variation which is again we can see that the same thing so now we'll take a small break and after the break we'll study more about the different formulas now quality learning is easily available at your doorstep S. Chand Academy brings detailed lectures based on AICTE curriculum as per the new education policy 2020. So do not forget to subscribe to the S. Chand Academy and access the wide world of knowledge conveniently sitting at your home. Stay connected and keep watching S. Chand Academy. Happy learning! So till yet what uh, we have done is uh, how we are coming to the bigger calculation and a higher calculation starting from the simple calculation suppose we have calculated the mean from the mean we how we have come to the standard deviation and then the coefficient of the variation what we have calculated now we will make more calculation here so <clears throat> we have done deciles and percentiles how we are breaking the one particular data in 10 parts and how we are breaking the entire particular data in 100 parts how we are calculating the value of q1 q2 q3 and how the value of q2 is calculated as a median of the particular class and we have studied that how to calculate the coefficient of variation now we'll study here that uh, five number summary as is here it is given that the five number summary of a distribution consists of smallest minimum observation first we set a uh, smallest which is the minimum observation then we'll calculate the first quartile okay then the median and then the third quartile and the largest which is maximum observation in the smallest or the largest okay so the five number summary of the distribution consists of the smallest minimum observation the first quartile the median two the third quartile and the largest maximum observation written in the form of the smallest to the largest quartile so as an five number summary we are breaking this small then q1 then q2 then q3 and then the maximum number you can see that the first distribution consists of the smallest minimum observe the first quartile q1 then median is q2 the third quartile and the largest is the maximum observe in the here so accordingly we will make a you know the box point the box point is made like this we have studied earlier also that in the box point we have <coughs> the quartile 1 the quartile 3 we can show the minimum we can show the maximum and we can show the particular median value also so here we can see that here we are representing blue with the q1 pink with the minimum yellow with the median then sky blue is the maximum and then with the uh, spring color we can see that it is q3 so we can see that here that in the box plot we are plotting the different different things and we are representing uh, and they are representing with the different different colors the box usually they are representing with the different colors in this particular box so this is what we are studying here how we choose the summary basically uh, it is in the very practical day to day life that if something is given to you and you are said to divide it then 
there are two methods of dividing. The first one is we divide them equally or we fix a particular margin by which we divide. That what we generally say in the real life example, how electricity is divided in our area according to the uses. Suppose in a factory industry, the uses is different, the supply is given different. In the home residential, the uses is different, the supply is different. In a shop, the uses is different, the supply is different. So according to the uses, we are giving the particular supply that whatever the requirement is to fulfill the requirement. So basically in the breaking of the particular data, we need to analyze and understand that either we are making the percentage of the particular data, okay, the percentage, we can fix up the percentage 20%, 30%, 25% and then we break the data in terms of different categories or what we can do is that we can simply divide them equally that in every coral tile there will be equal values. So when we do it then what we get is a median value. When we do it then we get a minimum value and then we get the maximum value. So these are the values that we get it when we break the data in terms of this particular categorization. So this is how we can choose the particular summary. Then we have a shape of data that we will study further which is skewness okay and this is called as a QTIS. So we will study about this in the further that how to make calculation. So basically if we focus this to this particular module, this module teaches us a very basic concept that how we calculate the mean variance standard deviation coefficient of variation these are in terms these are in terms of the calculation then in terms of the breakage how we calculate the decile how we calculate the percentile and then when we calculate them and break them in terms of Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, then from given terms we can make them, we can calculate the higher value, we can calculate the lower value, the mini maximum value and the minimum value as we say, we can calculate the what we say is uh, higher value, lower values. We can calculate the median also. The term which comes in the mid of this will calculate the median. We will calculate it by breaking it from 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75 and then further. So we can say that this is the Q1, this is the Q2, this is the Q3, okay. And then we will calculate all the particular values from the Q1, Q2 and the Q3 and all. So basically that how the particular calculations are done, how we are simply breaking it into 10 parts or we are breaking into 100 parts and then we are making the calculation. We need to make a connectivity from the top to the bottom because if you make a connectivity from top to bottom, we will never make mistake in any stats calculation. Because the major problem of the student is either they do not remember the formula or they remember the formula, in that case they make calculation mistake and they lose marks. So we need to understand the connectivity that how mean calculation is very important for the variance, how the variation calculation is very important to calculate the standard deviation, how the standard deviation calculation is very important to calculate the coefficient of the particular variation, okay. And after that the summary of data how we calculate the summary of data. Either we are calculating them on the percentage basis or we are calculating them on the other parameters like users basis and all. So let's take one example for this that uh, there are data which is 14, 16, 18, 18 and 20. This data is given to me and we, I can easily see that 14 is the minimum and 20 is the maximum here. So we will study the different calculation and we will come to know that how we are interrelating the things. First of all, 
वी हैव अ फार्मूला विच इज एक्स बार इज अ वेरी सिंपल फार्मूला एक्स बार वॉट वी जनली से इज समीशन ऑफ एक्स आई फ्रॉम आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू आई इज इक्वल टू एन ओवर अ नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स सो वी कैन इजिली सी दैट द नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स है इज वन टू थ्री फोर सो एन विल बी फोर देन विल कैलकुलेट द पर्टिकुलर टर्म विच इज कॉल्ड एज द वेरियंस इन द वेरियंस वी विल कैलकुलेट द समीशन ऑफ एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार होल स्क्वेर बाय एन माइनस वन सो वी कैन सी दैट अगेन वी आर यूजिंग द एक्स बार एंड वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द वेरियंस एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल कैलकुलेट द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन विल बी द अंडर रूट ऑफ वेरियंस सो वी कैन से दैट समीशन ऑफ एक्स आई माइनस ऑफ एक्स बार स्क्वेर ओवर एन माइनस वन सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट दिस एंड देन यू कैन कैलकुलेट द कोफिशेंट ऑफ वेरिएशन द कोफिशेंट ऑफ वेरिएशन विल डिवाइड द स्टैंडर्ड वेरिएशन विथ एक्स बार इन टू हंड्रेड सो दैट विल बी कैलकुलेटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द परसेंटेज सो मूविंग फ्रॉम द टॉप एंड कमिंग टू द बॉटम वी कैन सी दैट इट हैज अ कनेक्टिविटी मूविंग फ्रॉम द टॉप and going towards the bottom it has the connectivity of all the particular terms so what i am saying is that each value has to be calculated very particularly as we can see that either we are calculating mean variation standard deviation coefficient of variation or we are breaking in terms of the coral tile we are doing the same calculation with one extended calculation that we are doing the calculation which are more over same in one and then extended calculation we have learned how to calculate the summary means how to break the particular data and how to make the calculation from the breaking of the particular data so in this video we can have made a connectivity of calculating the coral tile current of making the coral tile then after making the terms in coral tile then how to break in terms of uh, the the coefficient of variation and all and again in the summary we can say that making a connectivity from the lower calculation to the higher calculation that how we make the connectivity from the uh, mean to the coefficient of variation all the values are connected to each other and we make the calculations if you want to study this topic in detail refer to the book by f john publishing link is provided in the description box if you found our video interesting Please like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.